Mm -hmm. Desert Sands Unified students return back to school tomorrow and tonight we're going in depth with the district superintendent, Dr. Kelly Mabel Marr. News Channel 3's Peter Dowd interviewed her to learn more about the information parents, students and community members need to know about the new school year. Dr. May Volmar, first off, what policy changes can everyone in the district expect this year? Oh, thanks, Peter. Actually, not, nothing really new in the sense of policy, but we do have some procedural changes uh, that we'd like our families to be aware of them. Probably the most significant change is our secondary students wear identification badges on their lanyards, and this year the back of that ID badge is going to look different. We very intentionally placed QR codes this year on the back of those badges that allow the students to very easily scan them with their district issued Chromebook or with their phone. And in doing so, they have access to our PSST world, which is our anonymous reporting system uh, for anything that they want us to be aware of. There's a second QR code that connects them with resources related to fentanyl awareness. And the third one is a QR code that allows them to uh, request um, counseling resources. So really excited about those things uh, being in place for our students. In addition to that, uh, we know it's hot at the beginning of the school year. So each of our schools have identified heat mitigation strategies uh, that they'll be utilizing throughout those warmer days. Uh, and then finally, something we're really excited about, um, as you know, Transitional Kinder is rolling back. Um, it's a several year rollback. And so our students coming to us in Transitional Kindergarten are much younger. And it's really important to us that they feel welcome and they feel secure. So each of our elementary schools will be hosting welcome nights for our Transitional Kinder students and their parents prior to the start of school. So they can get in those classrooms, get acclimated, feel comfortable and have a great start to the year. I think the QR codes is interesting. Yes. Why is this? Well, first of all, there are certain phone numbers that we have to have on the back of our lanyards, right? To be able to dial hotlines, 911, um, that kind of thing. Um, but the QR code allows the students to go directly to the information by just scanning that code. Uh, and really, for us, that's the easiest way to get them that information, as opposed to them having to click through a website multiple times to get to the right page. Technology, it's incredible. Yeah. yeah. I also want to ask you, Dr. May Volmer, are things returning to normal-ish post-COVID and the pandemic? Yeah, absolutely. You know, there are actually um, some things that are very exciting coming out of COVID that are a little bit different. Uh, one of the things we're most excited about, uh, we started this last year, as did many districts, um, and that's our Expanded Learning Opportunities Program, which really beefs up those after school opportunities for our students, uh, as well as summer opportunities and spring break opportunities. And so that had a great start last year and it'll be even stronger this year um, as far as opportunities for our students. The other thing that was a positive out of COVID was the creation of our virtual academy. We're aware that some students just do better in a virtual environment. So our virtual academy is still thriving and strong um, and parents can access information about that on our website uh, by visiting the Horizon School website. What is the message, Dr. May Volmer, that you would like everyone in the community to hear going back to school this year? Uh, you know, one of the things that's so important to us, and it's something that we uh, really are excited about focusing on every year, and that's just continuing to build those relationships with the families that we serve and with our community. And so to that end, we have a theme this year, growing stronger together, uh, because we know that the more we work together, the better the opportunities are for each and every student that walks through our doors. So there will be a lot of parent involvement opportunities that we'll be hosting throughout the course of the school year, and we're really excited about our families getting involved. And then I'll just add, our board has set three priorities for the district for this school year that we're equally excited about. So the first of those goals being a focus on early literacy and ensuring that every student can read by third grade. The second is enhancing our college and career readiness opportunities for our students across the district. And then finally, providing a safe and inviting environment for our students to support attendance and mental health. Wonderful. Anything else you'd like to say before we let you go? Uh, we are just very excited about the school year. I actually just returned 
uh, from San Diego at a summer institute. We had over 350 staff members down there participating in training and learning and collaboration. We cannot wait to see our students back in our classrooms. It's going to be a great year. Very exciting. Dr. May Volmer, as always, we appreciate your time. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much. And as students around the Valley head back to school, we want to see those first day of school pictures. You can share yours by uploading them to our back to school photo gallery and even be entered to win several prizes. Scan the QR code that, that you see on your screen right now to check out our back to school headquarters on KESQ.com. Breaking news now, the Biden administration starting to cancel student loan debt for more than 800,000 borrowers. News Channel 3's Samantha Lamibao is at the Breaking News Center with the